One of the standard techniques in synthetic chemistry is two-phase separation, a purification measure used when you have a mixture of materials and components of the mixture have different solubilities in two different solvents. Those solvents form two phases, as you see here. This will help you to separate the components of the mixture. This video talks about two-phase separation and washing liquids using a macroscale separatory funnel. When you finish a reaction, there will always be a mixture of materials present. Products, solvents, starting materials, catalysts, side products. The workup after the reaction involves separating the stuff that you want from the stuff that you don't want. The workup is a series of separation processes, and one of these can be a two-phase separation, where you have two immiscible liquids and materials soluble to different extents in the two. The video on microscale separation goes into more detail about how two-phase separation works. This video talks only about the different techniques used on the macro scale. Separation of two phases using a separatory funnel is more simple than a micro scale because you don't need droppers. All you need is a separatory funnel with its lid and either a clamp, a three-finger clamp, or a ring stand, as you see here. Clamp the funnel upright and let the two phases settle and separate out. You'll then need a container so that you can catch whatever drains out. There are two different kinds of separatory funnel. This one has a different nozzle, and they've also got slightly different caps. Th they are completely equivalent. You can also hold them in two different kinds of clamp. Separatory funnels are usually pear-shaped, and the ones that we have in the lab have two different kinds of spout, as you've seen. And they can either sit in a ring clamp or a three-finger clamp. Once you have your mixture ready to separate, take your separatory funnel, put it into a ring stand, open it up, make sure that the tap is closed at the bottom, and pour the mixture into the separatory funnel itself. Transfer it all in. Now that has actually separated quite quickly. And once it has separated and you've got a nice clean interface with no bubbles on it, then you're ready to open the lower tap and let the lower phase drain out into a receiving vessel. You do need to have the top open for this. If you, by mistake, put the cap in, uh, you won't get any flow because you'll have an airlock. When it's getting close to the end, slow down the flow and then stop it just as it gets to the bottom. Right. Now, we've now performed a separation. I have the lower phase in the beaker and the upper phase in the separatory funnel. We've colored one of these phases so that it's easier to see on camera. Uh, you may end up with two identical colors, so you'll need to look quite closely for the interface. Now, once you've separated it out, you may be required to wash it with some more of the second solvent. So I have some more of the second solvent, carefully colored blue and mix in an appropriate amount, put it down again. And at this point, you need to actually shake to wash. Take it out of the clamp stand. Make sure that you are holding the cap on with your fingers. Invert and immediately open the tap, because doing that will cause a pressure increase. Close the tap again, and then invert a few times to make sure that everything mixes properly and place back in the ring stand to allow it to settle. This may well take a while. If you shake too hard, you'll get an emulsion. It'll take a long time to settle. This one is actually coming out fairly nicely. It'll be ready in a few minutes. Again, don't forget to take the cap off before you try draining or there will be sadness afoot. Sometimes just some gentle swirling like that will get the bubbles to collapse and give you a decent, clean interface. Now that that has actually settled out, again, open the tap and allow the lower phase to drain out. At this point, this is a wash. You combine it with whatever it is you have below. And what you're interested in, in this case, 
is the top phase. You could alternatively be interested in the lower phase, in which case you would have to drain out this upper phase and put the lower phase back into the funnel to wash it. Two-phase separation is a process of separating different products from a reaction and solution. It's useful for purifying the products. You should now, having watched this, understand the process of two-phase separation and how to wash solutions using macroscale apparatus this separatory funnel.